Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be Operation Bedrock number 123, the 100th and the 23rd episode of the Operation Bedrock series. A series where our friends and I were going to mine the entire world until there's nothing but bedrock left, except for the floor, of course, because we need something flat to walk on. And during the course of this week, we had a lot of work done, as you saw in the two videos prior to this video. So, there you go. Continuation, continuity, anything that has to deal with whatever's been going on. So that's kind of like a recap of what's been going on, but I will still just talk to you guys of what we with what we have done if i could even talk right i'm gonna stutter like a lot okay so i'm here with sticky tack 46 so say hello sticky tack how was your christmas my christmas was great how was yours well mine was just average because christmas eve i actually had to go to work i did, i got home around eight o'clock i got ate some dinner and then once it hits midnight then it was just time for presents I didn't get a single present, but that's okay because I'm still living in this house, which is a best present for me because otherwise then I would just be alone at an apartment trying to make rent. Other than that, I gave my parents $80 to spend whatever they need to spend, but they said that that's going to be going towards the new kitchen that they actually want to remodel. And as well as that, I did tell them like I'm going to buy a monitor and then my father offered to at least pay $100 towards that monitor. I'm going to get a brand new monitor. It's going to cost me $155 and it's going to be the HDMI monitor. So everything is going to be just a little bit more high tech graphics type of deal. And as well as that, I'm going to try to use my... PVR on the on my computer to see if I could actually record a PC with the HD PVR That's why I want to get a brand new monitor So at least that will be a late Christmas gift, but in the end it's like I'm still living in this household That's that could be the best Christmas gift for every year That's a grateful thing to say Yeah, it's like I don't I didn't even ask for anything for Christmas I didn't ask for anything for last year, and I didn't ask for anything for this year. Just like, as long. I'm really grateful. Yeah, I'm really grateful that I'm still living in this household. I and don't. I don't know many people that would just say, "Oh, I'm ha I'm thankful that I'm living here, and I don't want anything for Christmas." Exactly, because if you just think about it, it costs way more to live out on your own. I made. I done the math here a while ago, and for me to actually sustain myself for a good for a good while, I would need to at least make two hundred or sorry. I would need to make $2,500 a month or enough to live out on my own. You got your rent, you got your insurance, and you got your food, you got your gas, or sorry, a gas for the car, and of course you got your bills. So yeah, you need to at least make $2,500 to $3,000 a month to sustain yourself. I'm barely making a thousand as it is. And a lot of it goes to bills and food. But other than that, I'm grateful that I'm living here, and just as long as I'm not kicked out, I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, I forgot, if you go to school, you're gonna have to pay for school too. Tuition. Gotta love that, right? So what we've been doing here, within the last week, up to this point, is that we've mined all the resources, and then I made another video which took me four hours to make, well, four, four hours to record, and then another few hours to actually work on it. It is that I have mined everything with a fortune pickaxe, and everything has already been put away. Is that we have a lot of resources now. Because from there, I've gone 9,969 of the coal, 23,126 redstone, 1,139 diamonds, and 1,492 lapis lazuli. I'm just more impressed about the diamonds. I got double the amount from 509 ores of diamonds. I got double the amount, or actually more than double the amount, so now we have diamonds for days and I'm pretty sure that all those diamonds will be used up for this entire world. And right now, within the last three layers of the world, we're just mining it out and we're making it clean, we're making it look good, we're currently working on quadrant number four which is over there, just let me look at the map. It's right down there where Sticky Tack is at, but I'm going to be going into quadrant number two because I want to actually get rid of all the lava spots so that we could actually make a little bit of a mini game series out of this. So every now and then when we have a lot of people, we could go ahead and kill each other off in PvP. So that could be in a small series in itself. That could be like its own Hunger Games without the chest. And we could probably make our own Slender game that one person becomes Slender with night vision and hunts down everybody else. 
And what you got to do is you got to try to survive this as long as you can and try to get away from Slender. There's going to be there's going to be safe spots, but you can only be there for a certain amount of time. and Then you have to leave. And Slenderman is not allowed to camp. So that would be a good thing. Hey, look, a bat. I don't know if you could actually see it, but there's a bat. And there's a hole in the ceiling. Apparently a creeper blew up here. Nobody said a single thing about it. Good to know. So, where's the bats? Where's the bats? Where did the bats go? Okay, there's the bats. If I have to adjust the gamma once more, I will. But there's a bat right there. Just, I'm following the bat. And there's another bat over there. I feel sorry for the bats because they are not that intelligent. They'll actually run into the lava at times. I've seen like two or three actually just dive bomb in the lava. I'm like, what the heck? What the heck, bats? Oh well, can't really do anything about that. But I would love to make this into a mini game of its own where we're just gonna be running around killing each other as well as that one match we're gonna have like, you know, bedrock fog and then in another match, just bedrock fog with mobs. So not only you're gonna have to try to run away from the other guys, you're gonna have to run away from the mobs as well. So don't die by the mob. And especially with the skeleton that have been so buffed up like nothing. That is OP. That is too OP. Please nerf type of moment. They shoot fast. And they even have knockback. So it's really, really and difficult. Oh yeah, even accuracy. They could shoot you. They could even 360 no scope you and none. They can even just turn around and just shoot you right off the bat. I've been shot even though they were not even looking at me. I'm like, come on, that's aimbot now. They're they're too buff. You guys already seen them. It's been it's been a long time, or you know, like five days since TU19. So that is a long time in internet days or internet times that it's been released, and it's too OP. I swear to you, it's just they are tough now, and especially if they actually get armor. Just I've seen one with full leather armor, so it's like yeah. I've seen one with I've seen one with iron armor. That took a long time to actually kill them. And he didn't drop a single iron thing. I was sad. But I digress. This is quadrant number two. We're, I'm going to have to work on this. And at times I do actually freeze in this quadrant for some odd reason. Maybe it's because I actually had another person who freezes while I'm trying to get to the quadrant as well. I don't know. Sometimes I freeze. Sometimes I don't. But I'm on peaceful mode. Which I did not want to actually be until I actually got done with hard mode. But the reason is, is that I really don't want to get attacked by mobs while I'm working with lava. So it's going to be like the safety precaution that I want to take into actually working on this. But in this past week, I had a lot of people helping me out. The Alpha Rust, Sticky Tack 46, Park X Forest. I've had the Sly Set, Skull Rider 2 Omi, and Anti-Chunk helped out as well. So I'm thankful for these guys for helping me out. So thank you, Sticky Tack. You're welcome. So I got to ask you guys. Like, how was your Christmas? What did you guys get for Christmas? What did you guys get for your, your friends or your family for Christmas? And what traditions do you do for Christmas? And anything that has to do with Christmas because Christmas has passed. Or if you celebrate Hanukkah or any other holidays, what did you guys do? I'm more of a Christmas person. Christmas is awesome. But let's move on from here. Did you meet Santa Claus? Come on now. That's a tradition in its own. Even if you're old, you want to see Santa Claus just in a mall or some sort. Just see all the happy families gather around. Just as long as no one's hurting each other over the deals that Christmas has. My god, I actually went to Walmart on Christmas Eve and they closed it an hour early. I was disappointed. I wanted to get my parents gift cards. But instead I went to the bank and go to the ATM and actually give them money. But at least with that money, they can buy whatever they want. Rather than with the gift card, they have to only spend on that store, so or that restaurant. So I guess it's a good, it's a good thing, right? At least they'll use that money for the new kitchen. And whenever I get a chance, I'm gonna actually take a photo of the old kitchen, and then we're gonna see a little bit of progress day by day. Maybe if my father is well enough to actually work on the kitchen, but it's just he builds everything on his own. Like, he looks at things, he builds everything, he's built the table. I haven't even shown a picture of the table yet. Whenever I get a, whenever I get a chance, in another video, I'll take a picture of the table and then I'll post it on the, I'll post it in the video and show you guys the table that he has made from scratch. But anything else, he's going to be building the cabinets, he's going to be building some of the other things, he's going to move the kitchen a lot, so it's going to be renovated, and it's going to be a little bit more, I don't know if you would say modern, but it's that with the table, there needs to be a little bit more room. 
So Strong Dead 1045 is here for Operation Bedrock number 123. So how have you been doing? What? This is Operation Bedrock number 123. How have you been doing? I'm good. Eating right now. So how was your Christmas? It was good. What did you get? Money. Money? That's it? No toys? No games? Just money? Uh, just money. That's fine. You can buy whatever you want, so that's the Christmas gift. Yeah. Some people, some people think that if you give a person money, then you're not being thoughtful. But in retrospect, you are really being thoughtful because you don't really know what to get for the person. You could either get them a bad gift, or you could just simply give them money, which people would assume is a cop out, but I don't think so. That they could just buy whatever they want with that money, and that's the gift. They yeah, they, it's like I want to get this. It's like, well, here's some money, and you could get it. But I just cannot wait to actually get my PC, or not PC, my HD monitor that has HDMI, my computer has HDMI, if it works, and hooray, if not, then that would be awkward that I spend $150 for nothing. But at least maybe the graphics would be a little bit updated, just it says that it could go from, go all the way to full 1080p HD, so if that works, then hooray. And I really want to try out the HD PVR on my computer because it has HDMI ports. So if that's able to work, then I don't even need to have DX Tori or anything else. Maybe I'll use it for live streaming, but for the fact that I want to record gameplay, then I would use the HD PVR too. So if that works, then I'm going to be extremely happy. I just don't know how it's going to be set up like that, but I'll try. I'll try my best, people. That I want to actually get it because due to the fact that with DX Tori and Bandicam and Fraps, is that the file sizes are enormous. That a 30 minute recording by itself goes up to 32 gigabytes. Whereas that if I were to use an HD PVR, it would be just less than 3 gigabytes. So I want to save a lot of space. I want to do like a lot of recordings because on PC, if I were to do 10 recordings, that's pretty much my hard drive in its own. Because I save up a lot of I save up a lot of files, and by the end of the month, I usually go around and delete it. So, in case if I need to go back to the original clip and look at something, or need to do some editing in here and there, then I use the old clips. So that's a deal. It's like when I made that video when I got rid of one terabyte full of videos and files. That was a loss, and that was before the crash. Every time I crash, I had to delete everything. I still need to get my intro and I still need to get my outro back. Unless people don't even care about that anymore, then it's fine. If I were to, if I need to make a brand new one, then so be it. It's just, no one has really talked about the outro or the intro for a while, so I'm okay with that. Huh. So let's see. Trying to figure out what else do I need to talk about. Pixamon, why not? Just advertisement for DG. If you want to join us on Pixelmon, it's Pixelmon 3.3.8 as the mod file right now. And if you want to play, you can need to get the Forge version as well and then join us on the server on mvblock.org. Just do not harass the players, do not harass the moderators, do not harass my friends. Just have fun, talk to people, and play Pokemon in Minecraft. Okay, so that plugin has gone out of the way. What else can I talk about for this episode? Just not really too sure. Anyone got a topic? Anyone? Did you, did you talk about the, the hacks? Oh, that's actually a good topic. <laughs> the hacks. You know, the lizard squad, the finest oh. squad, anonymous. Yes. Kim.com. It's just. Oh, God. I wasn't down. I wasn't down at all, actually. I was able to play. Well, well, I don't know if they like didn't get me or something. No, no, no. Is that they left the Xbox 360 alone for some odd reason, but they went on to the Xbox One okay. and the PS4. So they went to the higher ups, cause yeah, the old the old generation is like oh, nobody yeah. cares about that anymore. Everyone's getting the new generation, so they attack those. Yeah. It's just honestly, I never really followed up on, followed up on that one, and no, usually I don't really care. It's like just as long as I was able to play, I'm okay. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. funny. It's like a kind of like a funny thing to attack the new generation when the old generation is like. People from Xbox One and PS4 knock back on the 360 and the PS3. It's like, get with the times. And now it's like, they gone taken yeah. down. It's like, oh, look, who, look who's laughing now. But I never really followed up on that. They're just nitpicking each other. They're just pretty much, it's like a petty fight. It's like, we're going to do this. Oh, we're going to stop you. You can't stop us. You're stupid. No, you're stupid. You don't even know what you're talking about. It's that type of deal. It's, it's just 
Oh, a bat just went in the lava. I told you guys that bats are not intelligent. <laughs> they just, this one just swam in the lava. Huh. Update, patch update for the bats. <laughs> Improve the AI. <laughs> oh, one person did say, are you able to actually tame bats with pumpkin pie? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look. I don't think so, no. What it's, would be the use if you tamed a um, bat? It follows you around? <laughs> Why not? It's adorable, I, yeah, but still. Yeah. It's still. Yeah. I, w I would not mind a bat following me around. Just as long as it doesn't pick at my head, but still. Just back to the hacking. It's yeah. just. What do you guys think about the hacking? What do you guys think of the Lizard Squad, the Finest Squad, Kim.com, or wherever his name is? It's just I saw the tweet saying that he was he was actually giving him or giving them stuff so that they will actually leave the servers alone, but they went back on their word or something like that, or maybe the whole thing is fake anyways, because you know, internet, you can Photoshop anything. But still, it's just the reason that they actually want to do that is for the lols, quote unquote. But still, just why? Honestly, I have like a problem with hackers. But when they like disrupt other people, that's when it gets like it's not cool. They disrupt other people playing the game. Technically, they're not even they're hacking. Like hacking it for their own fun. Well, DDoSing, I guess. Yeah, it's just DDoS. It's not technically hack, but yeah. people always use DDoS in a term of hacking. But like everyone else on the internet would say, it's easy to DDoS someone. All you have to do is just yeah. go to the forums and such things like that. But still, it's just it's not hacking. Yeah. It's just, just minor, but still, it's like every time when someone says hacking, everyone, everyone else goes against that person. It's like it's not hacking. You don't even know what you're talking about. Heck, I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. But still, I wouldn't call DDoSing hacking. I actually had a friend who knew how to DDoS, but it's just whatever. Let him do his own thing. Yeah. But I digress. It's just. For the fact of the matter is, is that they're doing it just for the lulls, just to disrupt everybody, and just, just, they're trying to make a name for themselves, especially when we're talking about it right now. It's just giving them a little bit more notoriety. But in the end, once it's all done, can they really say that I accomplished something in life by taking down an Xbox Live server or a PSN server for a while? Not really. Because in the end, like, in the end of the year, no one's really going to care, and they're just going to be forgotten. The only thing that's kind of stupid is to actually go just smack talking anonymous. Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah, even then, yeah. If, even if you think you don't, even if you think that you know that they won't do a thing to you, do not just do not poke the bull because you never know. They probably will do something, and they have done something yeah. in the past. Like they've done great works, even though I'm not gonna endorse it or I'm not gonna condone it but they've done good works in the past so if you're gonna really mess with them they could easily go after you if they were able to find the woman who actually threw the puppies into the lake you just don't know what they could actually possibly do wait what happened like there was a video online for a while it's gone taken down but it showed a it showed a blonde woman actually throwing a bag of puppies into the river because they were diseased and they were gonna die, but even then, they videotaped it and they posted it online. That was just messed up beyond belief, and <laughs> Anonymous stupid. actually tracked them down. Stupid to do. Anonymous actually tracked them down. <clears throat> yeah, well, that was well deserved. Yeah, I, I would agree. I didn't even see the video, and I did not want to see the video. It's just, yeah, it's just cruel. That's like depressing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that would really put me in a depressing mood seeing that. I don't Just want to see that. Don't search it up. I'm pretty sure it's still online somewhere on the internet. Because whatever you put on the internet, it's there somewhere. Oh, yeah. But just don't look it up. That goes for everybody else who's watching yeah. this video. Do not look it up. Anyways. Now everyone's going to look it up since he told them not to. Yeah, whatever. It's just, honestly, whatever you say, people are going to do it no matter what. Even if you tell them not to. <laughs> yeah. But I digress. Just a lot of things has been going on, people. Just within the Xbox Live, the PSN, the DDoSing, Lizard Squad, Finest Squad, 
Kim.com. Is that his real name? Because if that's so, then that's actually pretty impressive. But that's what he goes by. I'm not even too sure. But either way, it's just a lot of things. But back to Operation Bedrock. I got a lot of work to do. And I got a lot of chests to move. I got a lot of patching up to do. What is this staircase? I don't even remember. I knew that there was a staircase going to a lava. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I remember this. A lot of work has been done above the surface. Like, this whole entire area used to be just giant lava pools. And then we got rid of it. So, we're good with that. And there's a lot of room. So, if you ever come back to here, this would be like a trip down to memory lane. Sorry, I'm getting the hiccups. Okay, just one of the things, once we're done with layer 3, like, or sorry, with the last three layers of the world, we're going to go up to the to the surface finally, and then we're going to dig back down. And it's going to be a giant project, I'm probably going to have some videos here and there just showing the work behind the scenes, speed it up just a tad bit, maybe even do like a two camera mode, I'm not even too sure how I'm going to work with that, but I'm going to try to do some different camera techniques and all that stuff to see if it'll actually work and if so that'd be cool if not then at least I tried but it's that we're going to be doing a lot of digging and with all the enchantment tools that we've gone it's going to be nice because I I got 27 enchanted pickaxes to use and it's going to it's going to be gone fast but until then with those pickaxes we're going to have a lot of work done and with the more resources that we're going to find in quadrant number was it four yeah quadrant number four then i could use that to make even more enchanted pickaxes and then just we're gonna keep working with that cycle we're just gonna get a lot of work done and hopefully we'll get this done within like maybe two to three weeks and if not then we always have spring break and then eventually we're gonna have summer break where it's gonna be three months of trying to get a lot of work done and if i'm able to actually have a successful youtube account by then, then I could actually quit my part-time job and actually work YouTube full-time, making like maybe 10 videos a day. I will actually do that. I'll try to make 10 videos a day so that I could actually get a lot of videos out and continue on working with Operation Bedrock and Operation Dome. And once that's done, I'll have another two series that I want to work on, whether it be on the 360 or maybe I'll even move on to the Xbox One. Who knows how time will tell. But until then, we just got a lot of work done. Like, a lot of work done within this past week, and I am truly, truly blessed that all my friends came by to actually help out. Oh yeah, I forgot to say it's SteveX98. I forgot to credit him and saying thank you. Yeah. Diamond Noodle, right? Diamond Noodle worked on his own tunnel. He didn't help, technically help us out on our spots, but it's fine. He's he still helped out. Salvi16 helped out in a bit, too. And that's really all I could say for all the people who has helped out. It was... Park X4, Seeky Tag 46, it's Steve X98 or Mr. Inflammable that his new name. We got Skull Rider Tuomi, the Alpha Rust, Anti Chunk 4, then I'm trying to remember all the names. Anti Chunk 4 has a new name, right? He said he was gonna get a brand new name. I don't know what it is though. Alright, he's on my friend list. Oh, he's on your friends list? Um Yeah, I still have him. Um it's XGN Eccentric. Oh yeah, he's in the XGN clan. Forgot about that. No wonder why I haven't seen him in a while. What is eccentric? Eccentric? Yeah. Is it? No, no, no. EXN. Um, X. XGN. I don't even know, honestly. Yeah. They're competitive. I could tell you that they're competitive. Of they're competitive gamers, so that's one well, thing. Most, most clans are. Well, yeah, but they're trying to get they're trying to get their name known and sponsorships and things like that. They're kind of rising, but yeah. I never really heard of them until he explained it to me. So let's see if they actually actually become more well known. So good luck to them. And if so, then at least I know someone who's in the XGN clan. I can say that. Yeah. It's like saying like I know someone from the phase or I know someone from Optic. I've actually, I actually, this is, this is kind of like a side topic, but I actually, like, did a little bit of quick scoping against Optic Predator. Like, I was in a random lobby in Call of Duty 4, Advanced Warfare, and he happened to be in the same lobby, so I'm like, oh my god, that's him. I didn't even oh, record man. it at the time, but I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, that's actually him. Yeah. Is that, that he, cool. that he had... M M four O three Predator, I think that he had the name of the sniper, and I actually just went in five matches against him, 
even though it was a free-for-all match, and then after it was done, he was actually trash-talking the lobby and left. I'm like, well, at least I was the only one trying to get you with quick scoping. Come on, give me a break here. <laughs> but still, that was kind of cool. That was actually pretty cool. If only I would have filmed it. It was just like when I actually filmed the moment where Dami Noodle was in the lobby with Xbox Ahoy. And it was a free-for-all match as well in Modern Warfare 2. I actually filmed that, but I don't think I have that anymore. Sadly, because of the crash and all that good stuff. But still, it's like, oh my god, that was actually him. He's Xbox Ahoy. He's just more, more or less the person who goes into technicalities of talking about the schematics and the statistics of the Call of Duty weapons and multiplayer. So he kind of breaks it down. And then he does other things as well. I'm not too sure. I have not actually looked up on his videos lately. I don't even watch them. So I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. You got to meet someone that you and that you respect. It's just one of those moments. Everyone has a person that they respect. And it's kind of like a cool moment. Like you kind of do a little bit of fanboy. Like you do a little bit of fanboyish type of like yeah, yeah. reaction. But still, it's understandable. Once, once it's passed, then it's like, oh, they're just a normal guy like you and me. That's all it is, people. I've actually had people like a little bit going saying, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's you, and like, dude, I'm just a normal person. But everyone gets there. Have you ever been recognized? Yeah, a few times. Especially on Envy Block. Like, a few people actually talk to me on Envy Block. <laughs> no, in public, in public. Nah, not in public. I'm not that well known. Oh, that'd be cool. It'd be kind of awkward. It's like, yeah. dude, now you know who I am. Just don't tell anyone else. <laughs> Yep. It's like, if I'm ready to tell people where I'm at and wh what things I do, then I will tell them. Just don't spoil it. No spoilers, please. Yeah, you just say, you just say, oh, the place over there. Yeah, I live over there. No, what? I live in a house over there in some city, in some state, in some country, in some <laughs> continent, in yeah. some world, some galaxy, in some universe. Or solar system, galaxy, yeah. universe. Yep. Just work the steps. I know, I uh, know I, that George has been there too. What? <laughs> Remember, it's like I live, or I live in a house. Oh yeah, I live in the house uh, over there. I live in a house over there in some city. Yeah. Nobody knows until I'm ready to tell everyone. Then I'm okay with that. If anything else, if I were to move, I would not, I will not be like shy about that. If I would tell them where I moved, then I'll have a PO box so you can send me stuff. Do a little bit of mail, mail video, whatever, mail vlog. That'd be cool. You should do that. Speaking of vlogs, I still need to do that. <laughs> I've just been so lazy and as well as I've been sick. I'm surprised that every time whenever I actually do make a commentary, I do not cough. But when I'm done making a commentary, I start coughing. <laughs> so I'm guessing that making videos is my remedy yeah. for a while. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, maybe. So... For me to actually stay healthy, I gotta make videos. That is sad. Yep, there's your cure. There's that your is cure. a sad aspect too. I gotta keep working into into being well. I don't know. That sounds like a cartoon cliche. Like the things that they do looks abnormal to other people, but that's the thing that keeps them healthy. Oh well, it's just that's how life works. I still got a lot of lava, and I'm gonna be jumping up ranks in peaceful mode. That currently I am six million five hundred thirty-seven thousand and eighty-six ranked in peaceful mode. That's a lot of players. But once we're done with hard mode, then I'm gonna jump over to peaceful mode and I'm gonna try to max out in peaceful mode, except for the clay and the obsidian and whatever else that I can't get. And then from there I'm gonna go back to easy mode or something. I don't know, not too sure. Just keep on just cycling through the difficulties it's kind of nice to actually play in peaceful without getting the mobs to attack you and not having to worry about hunger for a while but i just got a lot of spots left to actually you know dig up and get rid of the lava patches because i really want to make this into a mini game this would be an awesome mini game wouldn't you guys agree just look like trying to find each other in the dark put the gamma all the way down to zero or one percent however it goes i'm not too sure which one's the lowest Make sure that nobody cheats and you just try to find each other in the dark and try to kill each other. Then of course, that would turn on bedrock fog so there's no way you could really cheat. Everyone has to turn off the gamma tags so that we can't find each other. And just as long as you don't leave the area, you'll be fine. If you leave the area, then you'll be disqualified for cheating. And here is Sitaru's home. 
He has done a lot of work here. I have no idea what that is. What is this? Oh, okay. Th that's kind of cool. Not gonna lie. He actually made he actually made trip wires in the form of four squares. Okay, I see that now. You got the animals to spawn down here. You got wheat. You got a lot of chests. Oh my god, burger. And you got all the other chests that I'm gonna actually have to move. I've been moving little by little because I'm gonna put this all towards the wall over there. So everything is gonna be moved. Everyone's everything is gonna be taken down. It's gonna be sad, but hey, it's just how it is. Maybe this will be base. We could actually make this a base, I guess. I don't know, not too sure. I don't like it since you can actually see the moon in the background. Oh, I loaded it up. Okay, there, there's the moon and then the sun will be over there. Ah, uh, I missed that. I remember they actually got rid of it in a patch, but now it's back because, you know, TU19. When you bring in more updates, you bring in more bugs. Oh yeah, and here's the skylight that Diamond Noodle made. That would be the only source of light, which is actually pretty cool if you were to just go over here and look up in the ceiling. Look at that. Pretty cool. I may have to clean it up a bit, but hey, it's still cool. But that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you, StickyTack46. Thank you, StrongDad1045 for joining me in this video. And thank you guys for watching. And whatever's going to happen, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be done by this by next week. And let's see how much work that we could actually get done in quadrant number four. I didn't really want to show you guys quadrant number four. I've already shown it in the last video, but for this video, I did not really want to show it. So that it'll be a little bit more surprised when we actually show you the progress being worked on and done in that one. So I'm going to end off the video here. Have a great day, everyone. Well, I don't want to fall in lava now. Have a great day, everyone. I'm SorkeyN090, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.